boy. Woo! So my last blog, I said that I was done with it. You know what I'm saying? I said I won't go back and forth with the little homie. So in the interview, he talking reckless. He said he gonna end my career. But see, dog, this is the difference between you and I. You can't end my career, my nigga. You can't. I work hard. I work over hard. I've been working since you was even thought of. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Since five, I'm, I'm about to turn 22. I've been working non-stop. Non-stop. Consistent hit records, consistent arena tours, consistent everything, consistent serving the youth and serving my fans and your fans with heat. Don't forget, the only reason why you in the game is because of me. Ever since crisscross, there hasn't been another young cat to come along and fill that void. I made that opportunity and I made that possible all over again. So if that never would have happened, you wouldn't even be here, nigga. And I told myself, I'm not, I'ma tone it down. I swear to God, I'ma tone it down. I'ma tone it down. But you said you was gonna end my career. Soldier boy, you are finished. You are done. You are done. I try to let it slide. I said, that's the little homie, it is what it is. But see, this is where he don't understand. See what soldier boy, see what the people don't understand is you initiated this. You feel me? You gotta check your background and size up your competition. I don't even consider you competition, but if you wanna pick somebody for a match, you gotta make sure it's it, it, it's a, it, it's equivalent on sheet to your sheet. And my stats don't match up with Soldier Boy stats. I'm way out of your league, man. And I and I feel bad because it ain't nobody around you to coach you, to talk to you. See me, I had a big homie like JD who who spoke to me when I got out of line. See, I knew when I was getting out of line because I had homies around me that would always tell me, yo, bow, chill, chill, chill. Like, when you made that Nas comment, you pissed a lot of people off with that comment. And being that you don't get love in the hip-hop community in the music business, you would think that that's one person that you wouldn't talk about. Because that man is highly, is very highly respected. And he's a big homie of mine who I talk to. And not only is a big homie of mine, but he's a big homie to every other hip hop fan. So by you saying that Nas killed hip hop, you lost a lot of points from a lot of cats who was really digging you and was respecting you. And the only way you do get respect in the game is because people respect you because they're like, okay, he's a young dude and he made it and he's doing it and he's getting paper. But when it comes to lyrical content, DeAndre Ramon Wade, you not seeing the dog.